Hey guys, Sutterwood here, back with some more Minecraft. Um, I'm sorry this that I've missed. Um, I've missed a couple days upload. Um, I recently started my summer job, so I've been really, really, really busy with that. Um, so I haven't had any time really to record. But, now I do, so, <laughs> let's get on with it. Um, in between episodes, uh, Railcraft got released for 1.7, um, 1 so we're probably going to be focusing on that for at least a couple episodes. Um, in between episodes, I didn't really do much. I upgraded my cobblestone barrel, so now it has 1,600 stacks of cobblestone. Probably will never need cobblestone again. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I need these quick health potions. Um, I accidentally used a couple, but they're made by adding um, tiny diamond dust to a potion of healing too, or adding glowstone dust to a quick health potion. Quick health potion is made by adding diamond dust to a potion of healing. Um, or adding a glistering melon to a quick potion. Quick potions, tim tiny diamond dust with an awkward potion. Gets you a quick potion. And these awkward potions are just uh, transformed versions of the regular awkward potion. Um, they stack up to 64. So it is pretty easy. Um, let's It makes brewing a lot better, I think. Uh, let's see. There's a water bo water bottle that you can make using the normal water bottles. You can either use another wort with a water with the my water bottle, or just change an aqua potion, and they change back as well. Um, these quick health potions they can be bound to a key. I currently have it bound to H, and they heal you. Oop. I was doing testing in another word, sorry. Um, but if I'm able to get my hunger down so I can take damage. Come on, hunger. Go down. There we go. Uh, let's fly up a bit. Oh yeah, I can't ta I can't actually take damage. I can't actually die because of my boots, so. Wee. For the following. Boom. See? Um, let's take some more damage. A quick health potion too will heal most of your health. Instead of um, adding a way to get more maximum health, I decided to add a way to restore your health better. Figured that was a different way of doing it. Alright, we're about dead. This should almost kill us. Okay. No? No? Well, you, you can't have keys bound to the same thing. Anyway, but you can also just drink them with one click. You don't have to hold down the key. So they're pretty handy. Pretty handy. Um, so let's get going with building. First things first, we are going to want some bricks and some sand. And we are going to be making, is it this? Is that how you make it? No, it's the other way. All right, so. Yeah, that's how we go. And there we go. Um. See, let's just see how many we can make. We need more sand. Good thing I got a lot of it. There we go. 44 coke oven blocks. Should be good enough. Um, let's go place these. These are pre the most basic machine that you'll have in um, Railcraft. All you do is build a 3x3 three three with a hollow center. Hollow center, there we go. And 
cover it up. And there you go, you got a Coke oven. Now if you stick coal in there. Uh, do I have any coal? Yeah. Let's just turn half a stack of this, yeah. If you stick coal in here. It will turn into coal coke, um, along with producing creosote oil, which is how you make rails in railcraft. So there's that, and now there's one other, other thing that we have to make, one other machine. You need some blaze rods, blaze powder, you to need slime, which we have a whole ton of. And then, what is the recipe for this? Uh, slime, nether brick, and that. Okay. Uh, do, do. There we go. And put this in the center. This around. And blast furnace brick. This is another multi block structure, and it is used to make steel. Um, one piece of coal coke will get you about one steel. And coal coke is four times um, stronger than coal. So it's about four coal to one steel. And it takes a very, very, very long time to do it. So you probably want multiple, multiples of these. Um, yeah. Let's just get this going, and should have enough for three, yeah. I'll probably work on automating these some other time, but not today. There we go. Just want to get them up and running so we can start working on steel. There we go. Can we build one more, even? Um, two, three. Oh, I never put a cover on that. Oh, that one's too short. We almost have enough for all of them. So we got three and almost another. That's good. And as you can see, this is taking forever, takes forever both way, in both machines. So that won't be happening anytime soon. Just want to get it started. Um, I guess I can get some coal. Let's get seven coal and one piece of iron. Throw that in one of the blast furnaces to show you guys. But they do, in fact, work. Oh, you can only use coal coke now. You used to be able to use coal. Interesting. Okay. So I guess we won't be doing that. <clears throat> um what else? What else? Um oh yeah. I did some Ender IO and made some dark steel. Um then I updated Ender IO because I was crashing and there is no more recipe for I can't figure out how to make dark steel in the new one. Luckily, I had enough for these pants, and they can be upgraded. Don't have the stuff to upgrade them yet, but we can get that this episode. Um, oh, I also made some of these Railcraft steam engines to power this capacitor. This is what you can use to charge the pants after you upgrade them. So, but that was pretty cool. Um, I'm going to cut here and meet you at the village down uh, down here. So I'll be back. All right, guys, we are here and we are looking for a villager that will trade us Oops. that will trade us something for emeralds because we need at least one emerald. Chicken, I don't have chicken. I don't have that. You don't want to trade for that. Um, can I make a bed over here? Oh, 
Bronze boots, redstone. Uh, the redstone alloy. Cool. Um, all these villagers are going to die. That is wonderful. Can you trade me some? No. I don't, want, I don't want to buy cookies from you. Now let's make a bed real quick. Don't know why I'm lagging like this. It's probably... Probably because of the dynamic light I have on me. Probably because of that. But it does make videos better for YouTube because I always have light. There we go. Let's make a day. Yeah, this little lamp. I'll show you as soon as I get... There we go. This lantern. It produces light. Um, I'm going to try and say it produces light when it's on your hotbar so it's really good for youtube there we go You're good. what do you want to trade me no no there you go you're dead um no one wants to give me any good trades it looks like or they died one of those two options um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Where are all these? Wow, that looks really cool. No. No one wants to trade it. No one wants to buy anything. Maybe this guy over here does. Nope. This guy wants quick, five quicksilver. I can do that. That one wants 19 wheat. 22 coal, okay. So I'll be back once I have quick silver, quick silver and coal. Cool, we are back. How are they being hurt? Oh, you stupid, stupid guy. All right, let's get our, let's get our animals from that guy. And where is the butcher? Oh, coal, right, dude? that. Cool, we got eight emeralds. That should last us a while at least. Uh, great wood sap. Oh, cool. Great wood sap. Um, let's go check out this mountain. It's pretty cool. Do, 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 do. It's a lot of water and lava to spawn naturally. And this is a bayou. Ooh. One, another roguelike dungeon. Cool. Is there anything good in here? Mm, not terribly. Take the ender chest. Coal. Take the coal. Can take that coal. Let's explore down here. <coughs> Sorry. Let's explore down here. Drop the chest plate. Uh, I don't want this, 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 this. Here we go. See a jukebox, redstone. Do I need any of that? Ooh. No, do I need any of that? Take this and this. Need some books. Books are always good. Books are always good. Um, I don't even really know why I'm exploring this. It just looks, just looks pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I want to do in this episode. I want to get those boots. And what else do I want to do? Iron book. Uh, ooh. Iron and steel. Cool. Iron and steel. Okay, let's go home. Alright, guys. We are back. Now, we have our emeralds. We have our pants. We have our pants. And we have one vibrant alloy. Made. 
it's just basically redstone gold and glowstone dust in the alloy smelter. Then you take the bar that makes and add an ender pearl to it in the alloy smelter, and you get the vi vibrant alloy. So if you take eight vibrant nuggets and emeralds, you get vibrant crystal. If you add a vibrant crystal to the legs in the anvil, you get empowered dark leggings, which take redstone power. It takes on um, power instead of, yeah, half durability damage absorbed by power. Power two, basic capacitor, speed, pulsating crystal. Cool. Let's take that. Now if we shove these in here, should be draining power, and it is. We had one million power, and it's draining that. So what we need for basic capacitor, basic, basic capacitor, that is redstone, gold, and copper, okay. We can work on that, is my door closed? Yes it is. Uh, copper, gold, and redstone. Let's take all this. Let's see. Copper, gold, and redstone. You need quite a bit of these basic capacitors. They're used for several things. They're used for just about everything, actually, in Ender IO. So, it's good to have a couple of them. And we should be able to add them to our pants. I don't know what it will do. Empower of two. That seems to be making it worse. Why? I don't skit it. What's a double layered capacitor anyway? Let's figure out what that is. Um, double layered capacitor. Electrical steel, cold. Should have all of that. If not, we can get it easily. Uh, electrical steel. Uh, there we go. Darn it. Uh, there we go. Okay, so let's go like this and electrical steel and double layer capacitor. And we need some experience. Uh, we have lots of experience. There we go. Uh, let's see. Pants. Single capacitor. This will add empower three. I, I'm guessing that these absorb more durability damage than before if I give them more empowered things. That's what I'm guessing happens. We shall see. Now this needs a octic capacitor. Uh, it's just two vibrant alloy double layer machine. Okay. We can do that. Uh, we need some more coal dust. One, two, one, two. Uh, I need some glowstone dust, some redstone, which we have. Electrical steel we need for that. Glad I had all of this. Two. There we go. Um, 30 levels. Shouldn't be that hard. I'm glad I've been saving all these creeper berries. There we go. Um need that coal powder. There we go. Coal powder, electrical steel, and those, double layer capacitor, and we need some gold. We have one gold. We need... How many gold do we need? Two gold. 
We got another gold. Cool, cool, cool. cool. So I'll show you how, just how I made this. Uh, I made that. Two of those, two of those. Let's get some more coal power of the engine over here. And we don't want a block of coal. Stuff in our inventory should be fine. There we go. That should keep up with the power drain almost. Almost. Not quite enough. Good enough though. It gets us energetic alloys, and then we need some ender pearls. I'm not too worried about ender pearls. There is an enderman spawner nearby, so. Yeah, let's see. It should be roughly about here ish. There's an enderman spawner underground. Um, I found it while mining one day. Let's see. That is a lot of oil. Gonna have to work on getting oil sometime soon. Let's see. Is it nighttime? Yeah, it's nighttime. Cool, cool, cool. You almost done yet? There we go. And then you just had the ender pearls. Let's see how my tree farm's going. Ooh, it's going pretty good. That's a lot of oak. A lot of oak. Not of oak. Killed that skeleton. Killed it good. Um, oh, you're probably wondering how I got blaze rot. Let's check this first. Let's see? Cold coke. This gets you 1600 burn time. This gets you 2880. So it's almost doubling it for free. And then you also get creosote oil. Which can be used to make... Um, rail... Make track. There we go. Track requires wooden rail beds, which require wooden ties, which requires crystal oil. So. And do we have any iron? We have one iron ingot. Let's see if we let's go get a block of iron so I can get that turning into steel or quick block of iron. It's like about one. Um, cold coke block for one block of iron. So, get that cooking up. And over here is my temporary blaze farm. All I, all I do is stand here and then shoot them. Are you teleport? And then I drop blaze rods and I got an enchanted iron axe for that. Cool. And this guy I can just throw right in here and he'll be turned into iron. Really nice. Uh, let's see, are these done yet? Yes, they are. Now we need some glowstone blocks. Should have one of these chests. Um, I just had some. There we go. And we want that. Yeah, there we go. One go to stone block, two of those, and two of those, and capacitor. Let's upgrade these. Cool. Pulsating crystal. What is a pulsating crystal made from? Um, pulsating iron. How do I make pulsating iron? How do I make pulsating iron? Pulsating iron. Ender I.O. Um, pulsating iron. There we go. That is made. Um, there is not a recipe for it. How wonderful. Okay. Um, we'll we'll get to that another day. Let's go finish charging up our pants, because these diamond ones are pretty much broken. Pretty. Pretty much broken. Uh, let's take them off, actually. Throw them in here. Throw them in here. Throw them in there. There we go. And 
these are almost charged, I think. Yes. Yes, they are. Cool. Now we can wear some dark steel pants. And that gives us no armor for some reason. I don't know. We'll check it out. And that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, between episodes, I'll probably work more on some Railcraft stuff. Um, and get everything needed to start working on getting oil and fuel, I think. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you all next time. See ya.